Americans are not Indians. Part six, let's go. Book reference. Indians race and slavery. From the late 18th century through the end of the U.S. Civil War, Choctaw and Chickasaw men and women held people of African descent in slavery. Like their European Southern counterparts, so-called Indians bought, sold, owned, and exploited so-called black people's labor and reproduction for economic and social gain. What? Choctaws and Chickasaws purchased slaves, men, women, and children, to work on their Mississippi farms and plantations and to serve in their homes. Slaveholders and those who did not own slaves embraced a racial ideology that affirmed so-called black people's inherent difference and inferiority and thus justified their enslavement. Wow. In the early decades of the 19th century, European settlement surged across the Deep South, pressing up against the Choctaw and Chickasaw peoples, who had long laid claim to millions of acres, stretching from present-day Alabama to the Mississippi River. While the United States recognized the Indians' right to soil based on their prior occupancy, the federal government was nonetheless wholly committed to extinguishing Indian land claims. Pause. Did you hear that? The U.S. corporation recognized the so-called Indians as occupants. But whole time was plotting to take their land. Because they got tricked thinking that they called themselves Indian instead of Negro or Black. That they would be better off. No sir. In the early decades of the 19th century, federal officials pursued measures designed to alter and eradicate Indians. Social and economic practices, especially their land use patterns. Time out. What does the word eradicate mean? Book reference. Eradicate. Get rid of. Entirely. Destroy completely. Eliminate. That's what the U.S. corporation was, is, and still on. Facts. Framed as civilization policies, lawmakers and reformers imagined they might remake so-called Indian people and assimilate them into the American mainstream. One key component of assimilation policies entailed dispatching Christian missionaries to so-called Indian communities. You peep the art of war? They sent in missionaries to indoctrinate the so-called Indians. Watch this. U.S. policy pressed so-called Indians to abandon hunting and take up settled agriculture, a shift that most officials hope will lead Indians to cede their uncultivated land to the United States. To this end, the de facto government also regulated trade with so-called Indians, establishing trading factories that supply so-called Indians with credit and manufactured items. You see that? They turned away from indigenous values and practices that resulted in the destruction of Choctaw culture and institutions and left the Choctaw people impoverished, dispossessed, and dependent. Stay tuned for part seven.